Okay, I'd like to try to make my new string understand what it's learned. Last night I crocheted this nice pink string. It's a cotton. Uh, it's a long string and you can see that it will take a little while for me to untangle it. One of the things that my students always told me they learned when they were learning string figures with me was patience. Because in order to make a string figure with a long string, or complex string figure, you always had to untangle the string from what you had done before so that you could have the long circle of string that you could use. And if you will bear with me a second here, I will patiently little bit at a time, take out all of the tangles, so I have the string. This is a three loop figure based on the inner wheat net. And in the inner wheat net, the first weave, if you can see my right hand better, I go over the far, the near index, under and pick up the near little finger string, reach back with my middle finger and lift out the string. I do the same on both sides and now I want to take the entire figure and roll it over so I pull the far little finger string rolling that loop one half, roll this loop one half to my little finger and roll that loop one half and I do that of course on both sides. Now I have to reach and weave again, but this time I'm going to do the inverse weave. I take the outside, turn it over, lift it through, the outside, turn it over, lift it through, and then I rotate the figure again. But this time I add an extra half loop in the center because I want to divide the information I've put in there from the information I put again, which is exactly what I did before, I will do it more at speed this time, but it is exactly the same series of moves, one, two. That's the second time. Here is the third time. And this is the inverse. And this is the rotation one, two. Now obviously this is a long series of maneuvers and each and every one of them has to be done perfectly or the entire figure does not blossom, which is the same as doing a long complex math figure, math example, and having to do all the little computations within it absolutely correctly so that the final answer is correct. Now to finish this I will do the Inuit net from the beginning. If you have forgotten how to do the Inuit net you can go, oh my dishes are finished. Okay there is the finish of the net. I used Murphy's power lift to show the figure. I call it the Cherokee seven stars because there are seven star-like figures. Actually there's one center sun and three stars on either side, but at any rate it is an example of a complex figure made from the simple idea of the Inuit net's first weave and its inverse and rotating the figure so that I can come from one side to rotate the figure and then come from the other side with the next weave and it is a very good example of the kinds of complex figures you can figure out for yourself as you get better and better making the string.